I think my capo gets nervous and it t puts everything out of tune. <laughs> I don't know why. Just in a historical building, celebrating 20 years of huge hit makers, songwriters. Cameras are rolling, a lot of people are staring at you. I don't know. I can't figure out why. I'm following you. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to also, um, I've played the Bluebird for so many years and I'm not. I, at the risk of dating myself, I was here when it first started. <laughs> 1982. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm <clears throat> But um, I was just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, this was actually the place that where I first, um, I, I, I'd played in a band, you know, like singing back up or, or playing keyboards or whatever, but I'd never really performed myself. And this was the first place I played in front of people, you know, bare naked with a guitar, singing my song that I just wrote that was probably really bad. Um, but Amy was gracious enough, Amy Curlin was gracious enough to give me a break and let me show my stuff, I guess, and uh, I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. And, and I will never forget it. I will never forget it. The, somebody said that I burned a hole through the whole audience with my eyes. I was just like staring straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and I've had many wonderful times here over the years. And, um, and we usually sit in the center there in the round and I'm used to being there, not on stage. <laughs> it's really different. And I think this was the first place I ever played this song, which uh, I wrote for uh, with Gary Harrison for Dina Carter, eventually. And um, I hear you do this song in your show, too. <laughs> I just do a small impersonation. <laughs> This is the song that I, this is the song that got away from me, so I feel, I feel the need to. It's been how many years was it now? I don't, I only talk about it every night in my show, so obviously I've moved on. <laughs> well, since you know the words. <laughs> I'll help you out on the ones I know. Um, and this is a true story. This is, this is about um, summers I spent at my Grandpa Berg's farm up in Wisconsin and and I, and I had my first boyfriend up there, my first, you know, kind of serious boyfriend up there, up at Inga and Elmer's uh, dairy farm. <laughs> Oh, 
cards and letters and one long distance call we drifted away like the leaves in the fall year after year i come back to this place just to remember the taste of strawberry wine Is it real?